Do you want to get the most out of your Thousand Trails membership? Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you some usable, actionable information. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. Folks, what you see on your screen is a chart that will help us compare the membership benefits uh, as they relate to getaway cabins. I'm going to be taking you to a getaway cabin at Circle M Campground just in a few minutes. But I want to touch base with you one on one because if you if you clicked on this video, you you probably upgraded your membership to one of the three uh, memberships that you see to the right hand side of the chart: the Elite Basic, Elite Connections, or the Adventure Membership. Melody and I have the Adventure Membership, but this is what I want to touch base with you on. Some people they just missed the boat, folks. And I, I was one of those people that at the time I was ready to retire, the plan was to go out west and do most of our camping out west on public lands. I knew I could afford that. Well, when I retired, it was in January and I didn't want to drive out west in the winter. So I went to Florida. And before we left Florida, I bought a camping pass. I thought it was too good to be true. But I figured, what the heck? Uh, so I bought the camping pass, and we used it that summer. And then the following year, we did go out west for the very first time. We got so much value out of that camping pass that we were sold on upgrading our membership. And we've upgraded twice, and we now have the Adventure membership. But some people have it stuck in their head that, ooh, Thousand Trails, bad thing. Let me tell you something, folks. Thousand Trails has opened more doors for us than I, uh, than I ever expected. Well, let me give you an example. Uh, well, we got cabin benefits, not just the getaway cabin benefits, but before that, we got regular standard cabin benefits, and we never used them. When I had the Elite Basic membership, I never used our cabin benefits. They just, I didn't use them, so they just expired. So when we upgraded to our Adventure membership, I decided I'm going to get the most out of my Thousand Trails membership, and I forced myself to use these benefits. Well, 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 folks, let me tell you something. We had the most wonderful time staying in just the standard cabins. Uh, it's a change-up. From, from pulling your RV around, you can take your car, your passenger vehicle, SUV, whatever your pleasure, and you go drive to um, whatever thousand trails you want to go to. You make your reservation, and you can stay in a cabin. And uh, uh, there's various different cabin benefits, and bas basically we were uh, getting complimentary cabins after the rebate. So that was the very first time Melody and I had ever stayed in a cabin is with Thousand Trails. That's a door that opened for us that would have never opened. So I'll give you another example. We've never stayed in a condo until I traded one of my getaway cabins for a condo rental. And now we've stayed in several condos. Again, more doors open. And then beyond that, just adding the trails collection uh, and when we went out west for the first time, we experienced a true RV resort where people winter, and there were people recreating in the in the in the Encore Park that we went to. Uh, all kinds of activities. You could fly drones. They had like three hot tubs, three pools, uh, all kinds of activities, woodworking, a whole community built up for folks that were recreating in their, their uh, latter years in retirement, and uh, they were having a ball, and they weren't pulling an RV. So, gee, folks, these Thousand Trails management folks, I think, are pretty darn smart. You know why? Because they're exposing you and me to... Uh, experiences we probably would have never experienced. And so now I have a glimpse. Hey, 
when I don't want to RV anymore, there's some pretty cool stuff out there that Melody and I can do. If we want to recreate in the wintertime, go somewhere warm. So this is what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just not, I'm just not, I'm giving you the real deal here. It Thousand Trails opens a lot of doors for you that normally would not open. And yeah, there's folks out there that are going to say that won't even give Thousand Trails a second look because they got it in their head. I'm going to go boondock 100% of the time. Well, 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 that's fine if that's what you want to do. But I'm telling you, that's what I had in mind. And Thousand Trails, there's nothing else like it, folks. Nothing even comes close to Thousand Trails in terms of affordability. Um, Melody, I, Melody and I can stay in full hookup, a full hookup campground, cheaper really than what we can boondock. So, uh, but, and I'll, I'll leave you with this, and then we're going to go into the getaway cabin. This is what a lot of people miss. They completely miss the boat on this, this next piece I'm going to give you. You have to have tools in your camping toolbox. And Melody and I have lots of tools. I want to be prepared for anything. I want to be flexible. And Thousand Trails is not and should not be an all an end all solution. You're really limiting yourself if you just stick with one thing. The more tools in your camping toolbox, the better off you're going to be. But if you have one of these upper end memberships, you can go from park to park and there's nothing stopping you from, uh, as long as you keep moving to, to live in the Thousand Trail system. And some people try to do this because you have people in different situations. We're all in different situations. But some people try to live in the system and they suck a lot of capacity out of the system. That's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. It's just the way it is. You see, I'm never disappointed with Thousand Trails. Because I have lots of tools in my toolbox. And if I can't get into somebody, even with my adventure membership, if I can't get into the park I want to get into, I have other options. So I'm never disenchanted. I'm, I'm fairly happy. You won't be disappointed if you're not counting on Thousand Trails to be your end all. Okay, so right now, what you're looking at on your screen, I want to draw your attention down here to this... Uh, benefit right here getaway access and you can see here the elite basic has it the elite connections and the adventure membership and what this means is that you can rent a getaway cabin yeah if you have the basic membership elite basic you can rent it for $85 a night if you have elite connections or the adventure membership you can rent it for $60 a night so that's a pretty good benefit, huh? You can't rent a hotel room for $60 a night. So uh, the next line down, it says free getaway cabin weeks and only the elite connections and the adventure membership get, uh, get that benefit. And what that is, you get a whole week in a getaway cabin for 10 years. So you get one week every year for 10 years when you purchase that membership from Thousand Trails. If you're buying a used membership, you're probably not going to get that benefit. But if it was a new membership, you're going to get that benefit. So, folks, that's all I wanted to point out on this chart. We are going to Circle M Campground, and you tell me what you think in the comments about this getaway cabin. A Thousand Trails has been nice enough to allow us to go into these getaway cabins here at Circle M Campground. So Melody and I are going to, going to take you on a little tour of the getaway cabins here. Okay, I'm going to take you inside the getaway cabin here at Circle M. Melody's going to give you the grand tour. We're going to start outside first. They have a nice wraparound porch with a picnic table and an umbrella. And that's an upgrade that you don't see in the cottage that we're in. And you have a gas grill was provided for you. And then in here, we have a couch, and it looks like it may make it to a futon if needed for extra sleeping. Nice TV and a fireplace. 
you have your table. And what's different in these is you have a full stove with an oven. In the cabin we're in, all we have is a two, two burner. It's almost like a hot plate. Um, you have a microwave, coffee maker, nice size refrigerator here. In here we have some extra linens. And what you get in here too is an ironing and ironing board, which we don't have in ours. But that's okay, I'm on vacation, I'm not here to iron. <laughs> Here's the bathroom with a stand-up shower. There is no bathtub. We do have a bathtub in ours. There's no bathtub in here. And what's nice about these two is the, um, the towels are provided along with the linens for your bed. Plenty of storage up above, and here you have a place to hang your clothes, so you can just take it from your car. Yeah, the linens, we had to bring our own linens with the, uh, the cabins, the standard cabin that we're in. And uh, this one also has a dresser. Ours does not have a dresser, but we have a... Um, like a seating stool underneath it, and that's where we have our suitcases. And there is a TV in this one as well. And you want to show them the cupboard? I oh, believe there's a okay. cupboard on the other well, side. there's a cupboard on both sides. Oh, is there on yeah, both yeah, sides? On both sides. There's the his and her cupboards on both sides. And there is storage above your head. This looks to be like a queen, queen bed. Um, do you want to enter upstairs? Yeah, we can take them up there. I'm going to swing around and show them the storage above the bed. And then I need to swing in the bathroom here and then I'll join you upstairs. Here's your shower. Sink. upstairs by yourself because even because even though I'm short I still cannot stand up there. yeah but the area up above would be good for little ones teenagers um, where they could have their own space this is different I mean there's a yeah there's a do you have kids or you just need some extra space you want to put your suitcases up here or whatnot um, you have a neat little space and then that's your living area down there you can see the ceiling fan really nice setup for the getaway cabin here at circle m rb resort and campground in lancaster pennsylvania so at circle m rv resort and campground they have two getaway cabins. One is pet friendly, one is not. So I'll leave you with this. Don't go over budget when you hit the road. Call Bob and Mary and save a load. And tell them Lou and Melody sent you.